Maxwell the cat from TikTok turned out to be a cat. Meme history. Maxwell the cat dingus the cat. Spinning cat is a meme with a 3D cat that sways and spins in TikTok videos to the song The Funky Russian Train. Origin. In November-December 2022, videos with a 3D model of a black and white cat swaying in different directions to the music of The Funky Russian Train went viral on TikTok. In one of the most popular videos, a cat befriends a capybara. The history of this meme goes back to 2017. Then in November, Imgur user VoidHawk42 posted a photo of a black and white cat sitting on a piece of paper. 2020. 1 to 0 to 2 Steam 3D. Dingus. At Big Old Buns. But the meme cat has another name also not real this is Maxwell. This nickname was given to him by another Steam user who created a new 3D model on October 21st. On this model, the cat was sitting in the arms, so in memes and edited videos on YouTube, Maxwell was often depicted sitting in the arms of various characters. In fact, the cat from the memes is called Jess, and she is a girl from the UK. In 2020, the pet's owner, the same Void Hawk 42, published a new post. He wrote that his cat, who was nine years old at the time, became seriously ill. She was diagnosed with a bowel obstruction and the operation cost £1,500. There have been no further updates on Jess's fate. Probably the owner did not collect the money, and the cat died. How the spinning cat Maxwell memes evolved. At the end of October, after two cat models were released on Steam, memes with these models began to go viral on YouTube. Users edited different videos with game playthroughs, placing the cat in different locations. One of the first such videos was published by YouTuber Awesome T for M, who placed Maxwell in Half Life. Then, in early November, Various variations of the meme went viral on Twitter and Tumblr. It was there that the cat was first forced to spin to music, which is why the meme is often called Spinning Cat. In November and December, Maxwell the cat took over TikTok. People started making different videos with the 3D model. In these videos, the cat most often swayed to the sides rather than spinning. And it was there that the format went viral, in which Maxwell moves to the tune of the funky Russian train. Along with that big old buns, Maxwell is often mistaken for another TikTok cat, Uni. The owners of the latter even published a video of their pet looking at the Maxwell figurine. In mid-December 2022, the Maxwell the cat meme reached its peak of popularity. This happened thanks to the TikTok effect, which allowed you to insert a spinning cat into any video. In less than a month, users shot more than 100,000 videos with this effect. Meaning, memes with Maxwell the cat are another trend in which a funny animal does something while listening to funny music. Thanks to 3D models, Jess the cat has achieved immortality, albeit under a different name. For many, the spinning cat trend is reminiscent of dancing cow memes. At the peak of her popularity, she kicked her legs and twirled in different directions to the Polish song Tilko Jedno W Gawi Mom. This is how the story turned out, subscribe to my channel and like it if you liked it. Thank you for watching. Cities are great, but they can be as incredible as they are problematic, ever zoned out on the subway and missed your stop, or trying to get down from the top floor of a bus and nearly broken your neck. On the stairs. Luckily, some smart cookies have thought up ingenious solutions. To these little problems like light up subway stops bus slides, heck, even full height skyscraper slides. So let's take a look at some of the most amazing inventions that might be coming. To a city near you in the not so distant future. Basketball bin. If there's one thing, the Netherlands has plenty of its bikes. The two-wheeled trend began back in the 1970s making cities safer and more livable, leading to the country owning some 23 million bikes today. But unlike a car, you can't just put your trash in the passenger seat, footwell glove box or trunk. Never look in my car. I beg. So where are all these cyclists meant to dispose of their rubbish en route? Well, these huge hoops have been installed. Along cycle pads to encourage more people to literally throw away their trash, they're designed to be used at speed thanks to their three-foot-wide hoop and conical shapes, so you don't have to stop or even slow down to hit the target. Trash hoops or blickvangers as they're called by the Dutch are incredibly simple, 
but make all the difference to the environment in the cities they're installed in. Could you imagine if New York adopted a more bike-focused transport system without all the smog, congestion or trash piling up on the side of the road? It'd even give us a brand new sport game of trash kickball, anybody? From top to bottom, all buildings are built from the ground up, right? While there's at least one building in Detroit that begged to differ, this is the exchange. A building that's literally been built from the top down. The core is constructed first, then each floor is built on the ground before being elevated and locked into the core. Once it's in position, the strand jacks which lift the floor plates are lowered back down to lift up the next one. Each floor plate weighs approximately 500 tons, which can be raised at some 25 feet per hour. I mean, that's very impressive, but why? Well, this method reduces physical labor and the construction site land mass required as well as preventing equipment getting wet from rain. If more cities introduced this impressive construction model, it could save unprecedented amounts of time, space, and ultimately money. Wow, who knew doing things backwards could make things move forwards? The stop and slide. Walking down the steep stairs on a double-decker bus is a death trap, especially when the bus is still moving. There must be a less terrifying way to get down that doesn't involve some imminent injury. While graphic designer and photographer Surreal HK might have us covered, they've created a concept that straps a slide onto the back of the bus giving passengers a super quick and fun emergency exit. Plus, it's a one-way system, so no battling for space between the people getting on and off. That's a nifty concept. Though those open sides might be a little too dangerous to have at the back of a potentially moving vehicle, still, it's not a bad place to start, although, Surreal HK hasn't stopped there. They've also imagined a way to make traveling down Hong Kong's International Finance Center way more fun and colorful. Just choose one of eight slides at the top plumb it down and arrive at your ground floor destination a few seconds later. Okay, arguably this design is too dangerous to ever be real considering most people like their bones and broken, but there are skyscrapers that offer visitors glass slide rides around the exterior portions of the top floors of their buildings like LA's Bank Tower slide. Well, it may just be a visitor attraction for now, but maybe in the future we'll see people in suits whizzing their way down, slides to start their evening commute. Splash less success. I don't know if you've used a public urinal recently, but a lot of people have terrible aim. If you get my meaning. However, drips and splashes in public urinals could soon be a thing of the past. Would this wonderfully weird urinal? You're meant to stick your thing inside so that your stream is splashback free. Is it the most sanitary option? Most definitely not. You never know what's been stuck in there beforehand but the idea of no splashback urinal is pretty genius. Thankfully, such designs do exist that don't look quite as intimidating. And 2022 mechanical engineer Dr. Hao Pan tested multiple urinal shapes designed specifically to prevent splashback basing his design on Nautilus shell streams are intersected by the surface at a 30-degree angle with the long, downward V-shape cutting off any splashes or spills. Just think about how clean the floors would be if clubs and bars installed them. I bet the cleaners in particular can't wait to see them lining the walls. Metro light. I know that whenever I'm riding on the subway, I put my headphones on and zone out and more than once I have tragically missed my stop because of this. Luckily, there are subways in Amsterdam that have solved the issue of losing track of where you are. Because of daydreaming and loud music they have used LEDs to line up each stop on the map allowing passengers to quickly and easily check where they are on the route. This is a great addition that lets you know exactly where you're going without having to immediately worry that you've missed your stop or you're on the wrong train. This design feels like it was made for me. Doggy daycare. I don't know about you, but every time I see a dog tied up outside a store, well, I get a little sad if only there was a safe, comfortable place to keep your pet when you need to run an errand. Luckily, Dog Spot is here to rescue your free friend. This Brooklyn-based company has created interactive kennels just for this purpose, with each one able to accommodate dogs up to 100 pounds. For a maximum of 90 minutes, 
there's no danger of them getting lost or stolen with its locked door system. And inside the den includes fans to allow fresh air circulation and appropriate heat regulation so your canine companion will never be too cold or too hot to keep each one sanitary. Dog spots use UV lights after every visit to kill bacteria and viruses and to make it even easier, they even have an app. You just reserve a kennel for the appropriate time. A dog cam is equipped letting you check up on your furry friend whenever you need to for peace of mind. What's more, there are companies all over the world offering similar kennel experiences like Norway's Den for dogs. So no matter where in the world you go, you don't have to leave your dog at home. Nice. Now let your dog relax in a comfy kennel while you go fetch. Excellent eco ducts. Why did the chicken cross the road? because it didn't know this eco-duct existed. These animal crossings or eco-ducts have been created to allow animal safe passage over busy highways. There are over 600 of them in the Netherlands alone and they're spreading all over the globe and with good reason. Highways can divine important habitats for all sorts of creatures such as the mountain lion population in Los Angeles. Since 2002, at least 25 of these gorgeous big cats have been involved in fatal automobile accidents. Luckily, the US government is reportedly greenlighting a 350 million budget for animal-friendly infrastructure like bridges, roadside fences, and underpasses. In fact, the world's largest animal crossing is currently being built near LA stretching 210 feet long at a price of $90 million. When you think about it, that's a lot of money but a study in Canada reported that there was a 90% decrease in wildlife and vehicle collisions. Since they installed several overpasses, this innovation not only helps the animals, it helps clear the roads and keep city highways safer for all. Finally, that chicken can get to the other side without becoming roadkill. House hooks. Have you ever had to get huge pieces of furniture up a set of stairs ever ended up like that one scene from Friends, you know? Well, while we were busy sawing our couches in half, over in the Netherlands, they've implemented a much more practical solution. Houses here are often very narrow, especially if they've been built on the canal side. This is because historically the wider a home was built the more taxes a homeowner had to pay. So to save money, many property owners would build long high houses, very crafty, but when the time came to move house, large and heavy furniture could hardly fit through the door, let alone be taken upstairs. So these houses have hooks built into the tops of their exteriors, which can be used to attach a rope pulley. Furniture can then be hoisted by hand up into the air and transferred inside through the windows. If you ever see this happening in real life and you're suddenly confronted by a three-seater couch floating in mid-air, at least you'll know you're not going crazy. And it's not just for couches. From boxes to ovens, all can be lifted. Well, I bet that Friends episode is even funnier in Dutch. Underwater doorbell. Locks are pretty impressive pieces of engineering, allowing those on canal boats to adjust the water level so that they can gradually climb or descend steep waterways. But have you ever wondered how fish navigate these locks? Well, one lock in Utrecht became the home of the world's first fish doorbell. They heard that right? Underwater cameras display how many fish are waiting in queue to pass through the lock. With people online able to press the doorbell to let them through by accessing a live stream. When this happens, a signal is sent to the lock operator who can then open the lock if there are enough fish waiting in line. Now, this is the future I was hoping for. The doorbell allows fish to migrate to meet their biological needs. They need to be in deeper waters to keep warm in the winter and shallower waters in spring so that they can produce offspring. When the bell is pressed the lock gates open releasing hundreds of gallons of water. This lowers boats and fish so they can join the next stretch of the canal. I wish I was that lock operator then the fish would be letting minnow when they want it in. Get it? Minnow? Minnow? Couldn't resist. Yeah. Let's move on. Which of these inventions do you wish was in your city? Let me know down in the comments below and thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and hit the bell.